Hello friends, it's Carla here today, and we're looking at a handmade junk journal using Pam Bray's Sensation Collection and the We Are Memory Keepers bookbinding tool. You can check the description box below for sizes. So I just wanted to give you a look at the project I made for the Wild Whisper blog this week, and this is using the beautiful Pam Bray Designs, A Girl with Flair Sensations Collection, which is uh, produced by Wild Whisper and designed by Pam Bray and uh, I made a journal and uh, used Pam's beautiful paper so I'm going to give you a look at that. We use the paper pack which is six sheets of paper which you can see here and then there's a bonus sheet on the back of this cover page and we use the stamp set which is amazing. We use the flare, which is the metal badges, and the new bronzed anther embossing powder, which has, uh, it's a dark brown embossing powder, and then it has little flecks or beads of bronze in it, which is really cool. So I started off by cutting different sizes of paper, um, to make this journal and I actually used this We Are Memory Keepers book binding tool and so it comes with instructions and you get this little pokey tool there and you get some needle and wax thread. So I simply used the saddle stitch which um, just pokes a hole in the middle of the journal papers and so here's a look at the front I attached a ribbon across the back using some glue then I've got a little charm here and I used the papers as a base and then I added some uh, things from my stash so we've got a little bloom sticker here which is sparkly this is some of Pam's paper and it's cut to fit on the front I used a Tim Holtz stencil and used that beautiful bronze dancer embossing powder and when you use um, a little bit of it you're going to get the dark brown sticking on and you'll see further into the journal where we used more of the embossing powder and got a thicker coat with the beads then this is a sticker. I think this may be Vicki Booten. And on the back, I cut from one of the cut apart pages the little stitched heart she had. And the little blue stickers are from Simple Stories from one of the sticker books. So inside, we open it up, and uh, this is going to be a teacher gift. So we have some fun um, elements that I thought we will add a little note to the teacher, kind of to and from, and then the teacher can use this then as her own junk journal and add her own elements or journaling to it. So this belongs to, and so these um, papers were just things I had in my stash and I just kind of went through everything and found what would coordinate with Pam's papers. And I did some scoring on some of the edges and glued them down to make flaps. This is a leaf from one of the cut apart elements. Then we've got a little uh, glassy envelope and we've got a couple things tucked in there. And then we've got Dream Plan Create. That's one of Paige Evans' stickers. And then we have um, a little journaling card that opens up here in the flap. And I've got some washi tape here. This is some of the Tim Holtz chit chat stickers. They went really well with this. Um, this is for my daughter's grade two teacher. So I thought this report card will fill in this with her name and just put a little note that it's for my daughter. I stamped Pam's stamp on some sticky backed canvas with some archival ink and here I stamped 
uh, one of the butterfly stamps and colored it in with colored pencil. We've got a little doily element here and then a little pen from one of the Paige Evans sticker sheets. And just the papers are so beautiful and have such a wonderful, beautiful background that they really go well with this junk journal theme. And then we have another little journaling element that I found from my stash. This is a Simple story sticker. We've got a little bit of some crepe paper um, edging here. There's a Page Evans sticker here. And this is from one of the cut aparts in the Sensations collection. So I made little areas where um, the recipient can either journal in or add some photos. Then this piece here folds out and then we've got one of the cards from the cut apart page with a little Simple story sticker there and that opens and then another little journaling area. Love these dragonflies. There's some washi tape there. And then that folds over. This is a piece of this paper cut out and we stamped here with Pam's stamp and then there's the butterfly, sorry, the dragonfly stamp. And then this is the back. So this is the center of this journal and you can see the book binder. You're simply laying it on here once you have your center and then you're poking your holes and you're going in and out with your floss back and forth. So I started in the center and then I went one way, came back down to the end and came back and just knotted it. Um, but there's lots of instructions online that you can find that will tell you exactly how to do it. There's three different stitches that you can do, three different basic stitches and then you can um, go from there with this. It is actually, I'm very pleased with it. Um, and then we have another little flap here. So this opens up. We have a doily, a little tab, added some stickers, and then another little flap, and another journaling area, then a sticker. And on the back here, I wanted to kind of leave that paper as is, but it's light enough that you could add journaling all throughout and then add a little date there if you wanted or add a photo on top. This is some more stamps from that beautiful stamp set and another one of the Tim Holtz chit chat stickers. And then one of the cut aparts, I just actually made a little, a little pocket here and this is another one of the cut aparts and I made it into a tag just by adding cutting the edges on an angle and adding a hole in the top. And then we've got a little area cut out in an oval for a photo or journaling. Little top 10 list. Here actually is where I used the flare and I glued it with hot glue onto uh, a larger size paper clip and then added a piece of felt to the back so it's stuck on there. You can use it as like a little uh, clip or even a bookmark. We've got a little noted today sticker. So a lot of this is just stuff that I had in my stash and I just kind of dug through and saw what colors would go or what themes and after I had the bases of my book with the sensations paper then I could just go in and start adding flaps and stickers and elements. There's a little pineapple from Simple Stories and then we've even got a rub on here. I think that was from um, Chamel. And then the journaling cards are from an Ega Baraniak may not be saying that right but her line it's an older line and here's that beautiful paper again got a little area there for some journaling and then here there was another flap that folded over and so 
I just made it into a bit of a vertical pocket. I sprayed these two tags with Dina Wakely sprays using the Tim Holtz stencil. So I sprayed through the stencil with the pink and then I laid it on top of this and then I sprayed over top with both of them and just made a little bit of a mixed media effect. The gloss sprays are really nice. Uh, this is one of the uh, flowers from a cut apart and I just cut it out of the square and added a little sentiment there and then the, t the backs are just blank and then here is that embossing powder that I was mentioning with the um, copper beads in it and so I actually painted on some of the Ranger ink dauber and then when I added the embossing powder it stuck in a really thick manner and um, you get those beads and you get that dimension sticking on there which is really beautiful and then on the last page we have another one of the Aga journaling cards here and a couple more little stickers and I added a doily with a little bit more of that pink and another journaling Ariana stamp. So that is how that turned out and I think she's really gonna like it. I'm gonna get my daughter to put a little handmade note inside just to make it sentimental and uh, just to show her we really appreciated all her work this year. So be sure to stop over to the Wild Whisper, Whisper blog post and I'll put all the links there. If you are shopping at the Wild Whisper store, make sure you, to use the code DTCARLA and that's Carla with a K, so D-T-K-A-R-L-A 10 and you will save 10% off of your order at the Wild Whisper store. Thanks so much for stopping by and I hope you have a great weekend. You can check the description box below for sizes and I would love for you to like and subscribe.